Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, we're back again, you know what I'm saying? Doing what we do best, making it happen, VIP style, chop chop style as usual. So, you know what, I'm getting some requests that Buka, we need a French toast. You can make us like a breakfast French toast. So I decided to say, you know what, I'm going to make a French toast, simple, easy to execute in the house. You can mine up some stuff, add some stuff. We're going to talk about it during the whole process of this. So let's check my ingredients out, okay? So we got XX super fine powdered sugar, triple X. I got right here already mixed cinnamon sugar, which we're going to use a little bit into the liquid for the French toast. I got extra cinnamon. You know, we always flavor our stuff with nutmeg, so we got some nutmeg right here. We got old milk. We got regular old egg, which we're going to beat with, you know, to get it together. We got three slices of brioche bun, brioche loaf, whatever. We got banana. We got strawberry. And we got the Grand Manier. Costco, okay? You can find this in Costco. I'm not advertising for Costco, but you can find this in Costco. So we're gonna flambe banana strawberry to go on top, all right? After that. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna start do what we do. Let's start pouring some milk in here. We're only gonna make three pieces. So we're not gonna do a lot of it. Cinnamon sugar. Not a lot as well. For the extra cinnamon, because you know we like cinnamon. Some nutmeg. And if you guys want, you can add a little bit of Grand Manier to your liquid, you know, but I'm just going to add the Grand Manier to the flambe, okay? Alright, so I'm going to crack these eggs. When we come back, we're going to get into mixing up everything together, okay? So yeah, eggs crack. Whisk it in here with all the ingredients. Sugar, cinnamon. Nutmeg, vanilla, that's the flavor. Little bit of milk and the old egg, okay? So, what we're gonna do next, we're gonna get into putting them on the flat top or the grill, whatever you guys call it, and then we're gonna get it going. But what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna start cutting up some berries and some stuff. But this is gonna be ready quick, so get the berries going. So, I just cut them any way you feel like cut them. Huh? Banana, I'm just gonna use half of the banana. And I like those couple of bananas in the circle. That so it's not more than enough. Let's do one more strawberries. And you gotta make sure you wash all your strawberries. These are being washed. And sit down so they stay clean, you know? So all right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna left from here to the stove. So when we come up, we're gonna get onto the stove and start doing our stuff, okay? So what we do now, I just put a little bit of spray on top of a blancher, a flat top, whatever you guys call it. I don't really need it, but I just still put it on it. And what I do, I don't got no gloves on, but it's okay. Make sure it's soaked through fully, because you want all of the bread to get, you know, soaked. Put it down. My flame is a little bit less than a medium because you don't want it to burn, you don't want it to cook through. Yeah. Just like that. You probably have a little extra left over, but you, know, you can make some more whenever you want if you have extra. And let it sit right there. I think three minutes on each side, two and a half minutes. Should be ready to go. Shouldn't take long to get ready. Well, this is just really eggs and you know some people eat egg raw you know but we don't we make sure it's fully cooked yeah so while that's going right now we're going to see if we can do the flambe okay and make sure everything is ready on top so for the flambe normally what i do always a piece of butter but what i'm doing wrong now is i'm not starting the pot hot, very hot 
normal you saw the pot very very hot so when you put it in there everything already fear off but I'm not gonna do it right now I'm just gonna start it like this add a little bit of brown sugar to get extra color a little bit of trick to it you know and that's it so we're gonna let that do what it does sear off a bit then we're gonna add the grand money in there it's a citrus liqueur with a very nice flavor citrusy um, like lemon orange rind they used to make it okay when we come back we're gonna get into the rest of it all right so this is what we're doing i told you we're trying to put a little bit of brown sugar and a little bit of brown sugar you can see that brownness on it right there okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start flipping these over yeah so i flip these over this smell real good. This strawberry smell real good. So I flip these over, waiting for these to cook a little bit more because you want to make sure it's cooked through because the liquid is inside in the middle of it. So you want to make sure it's cooked through. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can do a little flambe without setting off the fire alarm. Okay? I'm gonna try my best. To see what we can do. Okay? Cause you know when you're cooking in the house and any kind of smoke or anything goes up. So. A little bit of grand menu right there. Turn back. Do not pour it in there when the fire is on high because you're going to blaze, okay? Turn back my fire up. See that? Flambe right there. Turn back my fire on and low. Whenever the alcohol burn out of it, it's going to go away. You don't have to worry about you're going to burn the place up, okay? Kids, do not try this at home. This is only for adults, okay? Yeah, and do not flip it with the flames in it. Because there's a little bit, you're going to burn yourself, okay? The flame is going to die down back when the alcohol is used up the fire, okay? See? It's gone now. So that's it. Perfect right there. So you can turn this off now. And that's finished. Mm, that smells really good. Woo! That's nice. Can't wait to have one of those this morning for breakfast. So yeah, we want to make sure we get this right. Don't worry. Let it do what it do slowly. No? And my flame was at medium. So don't worry. Just let it take your time to what it does. So when we come back, we're going to get into when it's ready. I said three minutes on each side. And it should be ready, okay? And you see what we've done with the flambe style and all of that. Low flames. Do not turn them too high because the moment you pour the alcohol into it, you're going to blaze it. we probably catch the bottle as well. So low flames and pour a little bit or take it off the fire pour some put it back on the fire that's the best way for you know if you don't know to handle these things okay so all right finishing touch so we're going to cut them now i want you to get a close-up look inside see that all the liquid is gone so it's perfect so right here we got some strawberry syrup I'm gonna use a strawberry for a fridge. I'm just gonna make two little plates. And I'm gonna use it for two little plates. So we go on a bigger plate, but I'm giving you all like white plates all the time. So I decide I'm gonna gonna change up the plate a bit. So I'm made on top. Powdered sugar, always. Maple syrup I don't have, but if you guys need agave syrup, I have that, okay? So simple and easy, you know, French toast, VIP style, flambe with Grand Manier. All day, every day. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. You know, we're back at it again. We've been gone for a minute, but we're back with the jump off. You know what I'm saying? Do what we do best. Peace and love. Stay safe. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace.